G'day, beer lovers. Yeah, John Roll, my dick in here. Baby, and G'day, beer lovers. How you going? What I'm going to talk about today is acute pain. Now, I've seen something on television recently which has become like a common uh, appearing theme in a couple of programs that I've watched. And it's a way of dealing with acute physical pain. Yeah, okay. Now, in two recent television programs, I've watched where the writers of the show present this idea how you can escape this acute pain by somehow sending your mind off into some fucking dream state. Yeah, okay. So in a recent episode of a program called Criminal Minds, yeah, I watch Criminal Minds, it's a fucking good show, okay, there is this character called Derek Morgan. And poor old Derek in this particular episode is fucking kidnapped by these evil bastards and they just start torturing him. Now, you know, they do all these sorts of things to him, you know, and they really want to teach Derek a lesson, okay? Now, Derek is able to overcome this extreme pain from this torture by sending his mind off into some fucking dreamland, okay? Some sort of fantasy world, some sort of safe place, okay, for him to go. And when he went into this safe space, his father appeared. This, and his father was played by Danny Glover, okay? And his father uh, helps him to get through this painful process that's going on in his life, this painful torture that he's experiencing, okay? I'll just show a little bit of the episode I'm talking about. Hello, Agent Morgan. Once he's in your head, you let your fear take over. There is no way out. Why are you doing this to me? You want a hint? <laughs> so when you see Derek in this episode, the opening, he's become a hostage. They want to teach him a lesson and make him pay a price. And so he basically goes into his dream land. He goes into his fantasy world. He goes into his safe place. but realizes that this image keeps appearing and it's basically his father has entered his subconscious. Okay, now in another program that I watch, I watch a program called Blind Spot. Okay, I don't know whether anyone out there watches Blind Spot, but in a particular episode, there's this character called Jane Doe. And this poor bird is tortured for three fucking months. Uh, yeah, she's fucking tortured. They do everything to her. But via some military training that she received sometime in the past, she's able to get through this whole experience by putting her mind into this other dream state, okay? And she holds this notion in her mind that the pain is a dream. Yep, the pain is a dream. I'll just show a little bit of the episode I'm talking about. Try this again. Why Kurt Weller? You know, you've been here for three months. How much longer are you gonna make us do this to you, Jane? There's a place in your mind that no one can get to. A place that belongs only to you. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, no one can reach you there. Pain is a dream. Pain is a dream. <laughs> Now, here's a question for you. Do you reckon that this notion that you can turn off pain by simply going off into this dreamland is some fucking bullshit Hollywood idea thing? You know, it's just sheer entertainment. Um, what do you think it's real? You know, maybe I watch too much fucking television. You know, that's, that's a possibility. Now, I know that there's some people out there that are into bondage and discipline. Yeah, 
there's some real deviant bastards out there that are into that. Now, these people, they love being tortured. As long as it's part of some fucking sexual fantasy, okay? Now, I've also seen some programs where people in China have got their minds in a certain space and they're able to get through fucking operations yeah, without anaesthetic simply by sending their mind somewhere else, okay? So I do believe it's possible to use your mind to turn off pain, okay? It is possible. I have my own little way of turning off pain. It's something I discovered, and it goes like this. Let's say I've got a headache, or I've stubbed my fucking toe, or something else like that. I just imagine the colour blue. Okay, I just think about blue, I immerse myself in the colour blue. And somehow, the pain just dissipates. You try it, you know. Um, here's an idea. Just go outside when you've got a headache, okay. And just look up and just stare at the blue sky. Just stare at it. And you'll just see that the, the blueness of the sky just takes your mind off the pain. Just go and try it. It fucking works.